Hey everyone, it's Daniel with the Immersus team, and today I am going to show you uh, our latest update, which is the gathering beta, and kind of explain you know our vision for gathering inside of Immersus and where we expect to go, um, and kind of the roadmap from this point. So right now we are in the beta phase, uh, meaning that when you are gathering. Uh, the resources that you're getting are saved in our collection log app that we just introduced. The collection app is uh, going to keep track of how many resources you have, what the resources is, uh, what the resource is, and uh, you know the type and and the amount and all that good stuff. A little bit of a description as to what it is as well. Uh, so you'll notice that this was released with our gathering beta. The next big thing that we released with our gathering beta is the tool. So. Uh, we are selling the base tool. So the Rusty tool will be the ones that you get from us um, directly. Um, so these are an abundant supply. So you can pick these up at any time. And then these will be used to gather the resources, the resources which will eventually be NFTs that you actually get issued to your wallet every single time that you pick up a resource. Um, and then, you know, at, at, off of a rare chance, you can get a blueprint. And the way that we envision our crafting system um, working is, you know, if you wanted to chop trees, you know, sort of like some of these people are, they might be mining. Uh, but if you uh, purchase an axe and you go ahead and chop trees, there's going to be a very rare chance that when you chop, chop a tree, uh, you're going to get a blueprint. And then that blueprint is actually part of the recipe and actually does not get burned in the blender. But... Um, when you blend together the, the other NFTs, you'll be able to create a new asset. And that's kind of the foundation that we're going to create is, you know, let's say to create an upgraded axe, what you're going to have to do is run around the world, you know, chop trees, pick up the logs. This action right here will eventually issue out an NFT to you. So you'll run around and pick up logs. You know, when you do it long enough, there'll be a very rare chance that, you know, the, that this time when you open up the or when you cut down the tree, you know, a blue blueprint's going to pop out on the ground. And this is going to be a recipe. Um, and then that recipe could be a recipe to upgrade to a iron axe. And let's say the blueprint. Now you have the blueprint. You have a couple logs. Now maybe the blueprint requires a plank and, you know, a, a bar of iron or something. So maybe you have to switch over here, you know, mine a couple rocks. I don't think any of the rocks are available just quite yet since everybody's sort of mining them here. Uh, but let's say that uh, you get the bar of iron, you have your um, uh, plank that was required, and now you have the blueprint. You're the only one in the game that has the recipe to start creating uh, iron axes. So you're going to be, you know, highly sought after. You're going to be able to create your own market, essentially just selling axes to everybody. And we see that as being kind of the, the, the trajectory of where our crafting system goes. Uh, we want the items that allow you to craft things to be so rare that people almost have to spend hours, you know, dedicating time to become that particular profession. So you can be, you know, a lumberjack essentially, or you can be, you know, a miner or a fisher or something like that. And you being an expert in that field, you know, gives you a higher chance of getting the blueprints that will allow you to craft items. And then those crafted items will obviously be better than the tier below them. Um, but then people will seek those items because they, they give higher resource amounts or they have some type of bonus um, or, you know, the items that, you know, they craft into or required for some other type of game or something else that's inside of the immersive world. Uh, so I do encourage you uh, to try it out. Uh, the beta is live here. Um, it opened up on uh, June 26. Grab your tools. You can visit uh, immersus.io to grab uh, the tools. And then we also have a gathering competition that's going to be running uh, for those who gather the most resources uh, between uh, the 29th of June, so just started yesterday, up until uh, July 3rd. Uh, so go ahead and get out there and start testing it out. Um, if you notice anything uh, that you want improved or any kind of changes or even suggestions as far as how the crafting works, uh, go ahead and leave them in the uh, description below. Um, and I appreciate you guys for, for uh, watching. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and uh, join us on our Discord and Telegram. All the links will be in the description below.